Jalen Thornton. Questions for Jalen? This is Jalen. Start out with just, you know, defensive play. We'll get into you in a little bit. But defensive play overall, obviously highs and lows. Well, give me the, the best moments and the worst moments where you guys need to improve. We haven't started fast um, in most of our games this year. I think we've picked it up in the second quarter, third quarter, that middle eight portion where you have to be great. Um, but last game wasn't good enough. Everybody knows that. And we just we just got to be better. We got to be more consistent. And we got to be self-aware of the situation that's going on in the moment. We got to stop trying to do too much, um, myself included, trying to think about what everyone else's job is before my own. Um, but we just big thing is we got to start faster and we just got to play better. Mm -hmm. better. I mean, there have been games mm -hmm. where you guys have played yeah. well defensively. Difference in that when you guys have played well, what have you done well? I don't really think there's a difference in what we're doing schematically, mm -hmm. but I think it's just having that every play mindset that regardless of what happens before or after that one play, just playing hard and um, just playing with energy and tenacity, that's what people do on good defenses. And just not overcomplicating things and just playing with just playing with an edge. Jim, what's the best advice your dad ever gave you? Uh, just have fun. Just have fun. Just have fun. Just have fun? Yeah. He's has it been has it been hard following your footsteps? I mean you know, he left the he left a big legacy here. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's everywhere in the hallway in the position room. He's right behind me. Um, but I made it way too hard on myself in the beginning of my career, and it took a long time for me to get past that. And now that I'm just being the best version of myself, that's it's pretty good, you know. So I appreciate everything that he's done for me, my family, for the state of West Virginia, for this program. Um, Football is what he and I bond over, and that's what brings us closer together. And I'm really appreciative of that. Is he your agent? Uh, maybe I could be one of his agents, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see about that. You know, I'm just trying to live in the moment right now, and um, playing with this team has been great. Um, especially the guys in that D line room. I've been a part of some really good D line groups in my time here, um, but. Um, yeah, no, th those guys resurrected my career, and, you know, I love each and every one of them. Has it been hard to wait your, wait your, wait your chance to, to finally get some points done and get out there? Yeah, no, it's, it's been awesome, you know. A lot of guys have come along, too, along with me. Um, Eddie V has been a really good example for me, being the one above me. I think he and I feed off each other, being able to split snaps and also get Asani in there to learn from us, too. Um, you know, Hammond Russell, another guy that's young and is coming along, and he's played really well. And told me, you know, we have a lot of good guys in this group that are really feeding off each other. And you can tell, like, you can see on the field that, you know, we love playing with one another. Now we got to play better. You know, last game wasn't our best game in any me by any means. Um, but you know, you you can see that this group is special, and you know, we'll wait till the end of the season to reflect on that. Um, but yeah, no, this, this group is, we've brought the best out of each other and I'm excited to see what we continue to do. You mentioned you made it too hard on yourself. You know, what did you mean yeah. by that? Just trying to be my dad, you know, just trying to be something I'm not, you know, and I've watched him for a really long time. You know, he's brought me to games here when I was younger and I've watched old film of him and some of the good players that he played with. Javon Curse was one and but at the same time, that's just not me, you know? And that's a big thing Coach Jackson told me. He's like, you don't have to be your dad. You don't have to be, you know, some of the other good players that you play with, like Dante, Keem, like whoever it may be, like you just have to be the best version of you. You just have to be the best Jalen Thornton that you can be. And, you know, it's, it's been working out. Jalen, can you um, put your finger on why the defense is been good at times and struggled at times and really hasn't kind of smoothed it out and be, been consistent all the, throughout the season? Well, I think it's a mindset mentality thing more than anything. Um, 
playing defense, you gotta you gotta be a little selfish at times. You gotta be greedy. That's a term we always use. Term we always use, greedy gang. But you know, you gotta be in sync. You gotta do your one eleventh. We can't have one guy jumping in and out of gaps. Other guys not doing their job. It's just we collectively at times we've been amazing, yeah. and that's usually when we're all doing our job. But the times that we're not, one or two guys may not do their job then that's where we fall apart. Now, there were things that we did wrong, and we'll get that fixed. You know, the coaches, will they've done a tremendous job of putting us in positions to make plays, but we just didn't, we didn't respond to adversity. And that's, that's where we have to be better this weekend against Cincinnati. A little more meaning playing Cincinnati? Absolutely, yeah. When, when, you, think, when you think of UC, what do you think of? You know, it's weird. Service with Walters, the University of Cincinnati in general. Yeah, no, I have respect for everything they've done. Um, Coach Fickle was there at the time, and he gave me an opportunity to go there. And, you know, this was my home too. You know, both places, they they hold a special place in my part or in my heart. Um, so that would be a surreal moment for me, um, especially because it could be my final game here. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll have to reflect on that down the road. But I'm I'm excited to play that one for sure. Yeah. I apologize if you already went over this, but Coach Brown talked after the game about he felt he was kind of surprised by the the poor play, I guess, because yeah. you had a, such a great week of practice. Where mm -hmm. in the past he kind of said, okay, practice maybe wasn't that great. I expected it. What do you think maybe happened? And do you agree that the week of practice was great? Like, what do you think maybe happened since that was the case? Or yeah, everything was great going into the game. Um, I can't really wrap my head around it. Um, it just seemed more surprising to you. Yeah, no, I think we were all surprised, you know. I went into that game expecting to win. I think everybody did, too. And we knew coming into the game that their backs were against the wall. They were on a two-game losing streak. We were on a two-game win streak hoping to carry along the momentum, but, you know, the film don't lie. The film don't lie, and that, that's myself included. There were plays in the beginning where I was getting beat, and, you know, you just got to own that, and I think that's the biggest thing for us going into this next weekend is, you know, we can say whatever we want. They beat us, like, easily. So, and that's the beautiful thing about this game, you know. It's the highest of the highs, the lowest of the lows, and you can't lie about it. You know, that is one thing my dad's told me: the eye in the sky don't lie. So, I think it was good for us to get here yesterday, watch the film, own it, and just flush it down the toilet. We move on. You mentioned this might be your, your final home game. Do you mm -hmm. have an additional year? And well, what's your thought process there? I do. So this is my fifth year, and this technically counts as my redshirt year. Um, and then the COVID year after that. And, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens down the road. Um, but just for me last year, getting hurt and not knowing what was gonna happen after that and talking to my dad, like, you know, you may be done. And at first I was like, okay, you know, like that's just, that's just the way it's supposed to be. You know, I wasn't, maybe I wasn't meant to be a good football player and that's, that's fine. But um, going into this last season, I really just put my all into it saying, regardless of what happens, I'm going to leave it all out there and put my faith in God that no matter what happens, you know, instead of saying, why me? Why is this happening to me? This is what's supposed to happen. And this is all part of his plan for me. And um, yeah, no, I'll, I'll take time to reflect on that as well. I just really want to finish this the right way. Being in NFL locker rooms with your dad, you mm -hmm. were very yeah. young, but do you yeah. remember that? Did yeah. you appreciate it at the time as a kid? You probably didn't realize how special that that was. Yeah, I thought it was normal, really. <laughs> so I think it was 2006 or seven. Mm -hmm. I'm in the locker room. I see Carson Palmer, his brother at the time, who was his backup, mm -hmm. and then Chad Ochocinco comes up to me along with TJ Hushmanzada. And they're like, what up, little man? I'm like, like, what is going on? Like, this is insane. 
Um, I didn't appreciate it as much then as I do now. Um, but just moments like that that I've been able to share with my dad and my family, um, that's, that means everything to me, and that's, that's what the game will bring you. I know you're just getting into Cincinnati, uh, the Bearcats, and you'll probably get into them more as the week goes on, obviously, but what's it going to take to, to kind of flip the performance last week and get a win against the Bearcats on Saturday, in your opinion? Just grit. Just grit. You, you've seen that Cincinnati's come along, and they're, they're going to be a good team again. You know, they've started to pick it up at the end of the season. They went into Houston, and they got a win, and that's something we weren't able to do. So, and especially in this time in November, teams really start to show who they really are. They start to turn the tide and they start to get a rolling. So, you know, I'm, I'm not even thinking about their record, you know. They're, they're a good team. You knew your dad's legacy when you signed here, obviously. Has it been what you thought? You talked about a little bit about that, mm -hmm. playing with you know, his, his legacy hanging over your head and trying to live up to him. Mm -hmm. Has it been what you thought, harder, easier? Way harder, mm -hmm. <laughs> way harder for sure. Um, but I appreciate that it went that way, that it went the way that it has for me because I took so much more than, you know, personal accolades, you know, having a chance at the NFL, being a starter. Like, I thought all those things mattered, but it really doesn't. And, you know, the lessons that I've learned from this game that I'm going to take with me in my career path, whatever it may be, like, those, those are the things I'm going to look back on. Like, well, I'm happy it went that way because it's easy to be satisfied and, you know, have a great time when you're winning and everything's going your way. But your true character shows when, you know, nothing's really going your way. What is your career path? What, what do you do after football? Do you do business? Um, I would like to stay in athletics. Mm -hmm. Variety of things. Um, scouting. I love watching film. That's something that I've thought about. Because um, after the game, I have to watch the film. Like, I'll come back in here and just watch all of it. Um, same thing with practice, too. Mm -hmm. um, and then the agency thing, maybe, uh, maybe my dad needs another agent on the side, so I'll talk to him about that too. Um, yeah, yeah, no, I got to pick one or the other, so I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> hey, real quick, you mentioned uh, Chambers Elite, just that experience and mm -hmm. what you went through there with that. That was pretty cool. Yeah. 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 Just, just your thoughts on that and how it's going to help you. Well, shout out to John Chambers for funding the whole thing. It's amazing. He and his wife have been great to us. Um, but just being able to meet new people and create connections and relationships that you never, you never know, those may help you down the road. And that's, that's another thing that my dad's harped on is just, you know, be a good person, be kind to people. Like, like if you're mean to one person here and you meet them down the road, like they're not going to want to hire you then, like, or whatever they write about you then, like all these scouts or all these people, like one person they go to and they're like, how was Jalen Thornton? Oh, he was a bad person. And like, that's just the mark you leave. And like, that's like, people remember the bad more than the good. So, and that, that's, that's, that's all I've really wanted to do is just be a good person, be a good teammate, um, be a good friend and just represent the state of West Virginia the right way. And, you know, this team and chambers and Everybody involved has given me the opportunity to do that. Kind of maximize your opportunities? Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly that, yes. Best food you ate in Germany? Sorry, what? Best food you ate in Germany? The pork knuckle was amazing. <laughs> it was awesome, yeah. I, I had that probably like four or five times, <laughs> yeah. And that was, that was really good. And their coffee is really good, too. Thank you. Thank you, guys.